your books in horizontal position for today's artwork. Friends, see after the class, uh, just after we complete. Yes, please. Ira, yes. Now, okay. So all of you keep your books in horizontal position and just uh, listen to the instructions carefully. Um, yeah. Okay. So first of all, we will do a drawing of a very pretty uh, deer. Okay. The drawing is quite simple, but uh, when we will do the painting, we will learn lots of things with that okay so there is a big deer in the center sitting very comfortably in between flower bed in between uh, flowers and plants okay so uh, let me draw a little bit for you and then you can start first of all the drawing will be in the center of the paper the deer is our uh, subject okay so please don't make it small we are going to do painting right so if you will make it small very less scope you will have for doing the shadings and all okay so the uh, deer to make the deer first of all we will start by drawing a semicircle just see the size first i hope you can see my complete book so it's a, it's a book uh, it's a big big semicircle that i'm drawing because inside that the deer is going to be okay don't use a rounder or anything you don't have to be like very perfect this is only for guiding line draw it light inside that we are going to draw our deer don't draw it dark okay we are going to erase it later so that's why you don't even need a perfect one but yes a semicircular shape quite big in size and the circle is uh, flat type okay don't make it bumpy If you will make a big circle, just take a semicircle from that big circle, not a small one. Maybe when we will draw a little bit more, you will get better idea. So, <coughs> yeah, here this is the um, way in which the deer is sitting. Now, here somewhere is going to be the head of the deer. Okay, I will just uh, start drawing the head, then I will. Uh, show you all see so the head of the deer is coming on the right hand side from where we will draw a slanting c shape or a curve shape slanting okay this is the head and then this is the mouth in this way it's, it's slanting because here is the leg this is the body it has curled up in himself when it's in the resting position this is the face I will draw a little bit of ears just to give you first idea on how and why and where we are going but you please then draw it at your own speed sorry which line this it's it's curvy and it's slanting yeah so now I am repeating everything. First of all, we drew a semicircle. Then on the left hand side, we want to draw the face. Okay. So first of all, draw this big curve, which is the head of the deer. Okay. Then make this part, which is slanting U shape, which is the nose. 
slanting U shape as the nose and then keep on extending it until the end of the semicircle in this way and two horns then you draw and just judge that is the shape coming out correct you may have to alter it here and there it's just the basic outline that we are doing first so there are going to be lots of alterations please take your time and draw slowly So see like for example after I drew the eye I realized that the face can be slightly broader so I did that. In that way make your own judgment until you make the face part completely then you will realize if it is correct or what. Yes, Dalisha, it's going good. Ira, uh, the eye, you need to shift slightly up. And Ira, ye wala part, you, this one, just make it slightly more broader. Otherwise, the face is very slim. It's looking like that in your drawing. So, after you come to the nose, then make it slightly broader. I think after doing that, the eye will automatically shift up. Don't make it too small, the face and everything, Aj. Yes, ha Harman. Dikhaiye. Harman, sab kuch thik hai. Dekho aap, ye wala jo curve hai na, jab hum ye curve se nose pe aate hain, to hum aise wale turns ko itna sharp nahi banate hain. Kyunki aap agar hamara face dekho, जब हमारा फेस पे नोज स्टार्ट हो रही है तो एकदम से बहुत बड़ा डीप टर्न नहीं होता है ना थोड़ा उस कर्व को स्मूदन करो आप थोड़ा स्मूथली बनाओ तो फिर ठीक दिखेगा बाकी शेप अच्छा है विभूति इट्स गुड प्रियंसी गुड जॉब यस ईरा इट्स गुड अक्षता इट्स फाइन या Good, all of you are able to make it very well. Definitely, for sure. Uh, yes, Arna, let me see. Arna, that's looking fine. Priyansi, please don't rush. I will tell every step. How, what will you outline right now? Even not, this is not final. This. I will tell you, it's watercolor painting that we are doing. We are not going to do outlining. Okay, so see everyone, this is the... Uh, head part and what will this part become so this part the lay, down part of the semicircle will become one of the leg of this deer on which the deer is resting the face so now you are going to do everything in the semicircular guidelines but change the shapes little bit so that it looks like that so just make a leg which is like this That's fine. Don't let it touch then. No problem. Semicircle is just for guidance. In fact, this should be slightly beyond. Oh.
also while making animal drawing it's always the case that after making one leg we may want to shift the other one's position so we keep on changing that's fine we have to uh, manage so that we could balance the figures so this is the first leg is anybody having any difficulty in drawing until here please ask me mm -hmm. show me no you make it this way na so what is happening is right now the leg is overlapping on the face don't let it happen if, even if it is overlapping little bit is fine but it should not cover like 50% of the face you erase the upper part and then make it slightly down also extend it little more it's it cannot be very short since it's a leg hmm. yeah vibhuti शो मी क्लोज लाओ विभूति मेरा तो सेमी सर्कल से बाहर चला गया ओ सो नो डोंट रिड्यूस द साइज द लेग कैन गो बियॉन्ड द सेमी सर्कल दैट्स फाइन सेमी सर्कल इज ओनली फॉर रेफरेंस राइट या भूविका इट्स लुकिंग फाइन प्रियंसी इट्स लुकिंग फाइन वेदांश कैन आई चेक यू ड्रॉइंग Okay, you have any doubt? Should I explain you anything again? Okay, what about uh, Vedansh? Uh, sorry, Devansh. Devansh, bring it closer. It's very small. Vedansh, the one minute. Uh, Vedansh, the size of the face should be double the size that you are drawing. It will be easy to give effects then. Yeah, make it quite big. Arna, bring it closer. Yes, Arna, it's looking fine. Ha, Harman, दिखाइए आपका. Ah, uh, Harman, ये वाला leg जो है इसको ठीक करो आप. इसको थोड़ा सा मोटा करना है. यहाँ पूरा nose तक नहीं है वो. Nose के पहले ही खत्म हो रहा है. और पीछे से थोड़ा बड़ा है. यहाँ से narrow, यहाँ से broad. ठीक है? हाँ. अक्षिता अक्षिता यू मे हैव टू मेक सम चेंजेस आफ्टर वी डू लिटिल बिट ऑफ मोर ड्रॉइंग ओके राइट नाउ इवन आई कैंट से वॉट टू चेंज बट यस समथिंग वी मे हैव टू चेंज लेटर दलीशा दलीशा यहाँ से आपने ये फेस इट्स टू डीप हेयर लुक एट माई ड्रॉइंग The face of the deer is very small for you because you have done a very big V over here. Improvise that from the upper part. The V is very smooth and tiny. Okay. All right. So after this, the we will start drawing the body. The body will start from where the leg is ending. Okay. And from there, this upper semicircle, we will take in action. and then you can change the upper circle later first of all we will draw the other legs posture to know the shape better so that's nothing but a c drawing curve drawing starting from the head like this so this is the next leg everything is coming within the semi circle only once the drawing will complete you will see that it's very very simple because of the semicircle this line the bottom line of the semicircle you can erase it and make it slightly up so that it joins to the nose this is how the proportion should be शो मी ओ 
okay so um, see after you draw this part na this leg then i also shortened my semi circle my circle was until here but after i drew this i realized that the proportion should shorten okay so you have to do that Uh, show me again so first of all you need to uh, as per the semi circle the face you have drawn small but since that is done now and it's looking good this part of the leg you have to increase little bit more okay and then shorten the semi circle as per the deer it's fine if it is much space on the sides we will draw margin yeah that's all right the shape of the deer should come out fine the su surrounding sides can be all right um yeah wait huh so um, devansh i'm checking yours devansh this curve is is like straight straight as in it has a straight line when i join it at the bottom yours is going slanting so the curve of the leg should be straight okay and then check all the dimensions according to that leg show me again the face is fine this leg should be longer so you can extend it on the right hand side then listen to me extend this then draw this curve nicely straight then complete the drawing and it will come out in proportion yeah uh, one minute please wait priyanshi this leg this line you need to improvise it's not this short and deep it's more steep and broad okay rest is fine akshita this is not pointed make this part curvy on the side rest is looking fine vedansh um face is fine vedansh this leg should be bigger okay all of you please check this leg is quite big after that i have hardly 1 cm space and my body is coming so because i have shifted the body uh, as per this leg it's not that i have stretched the leg to cover the body you have to make it in proportion yes show me harman harman aapne body sahi banaya hai uh, ek minute fir se dikhaiye harman हाँ हरमन ठीक लग रहा है बस मुझे लग रहा है आप अगर ये वाला पार्ट फेस का थोड़ा ठीक कर सकते हैं तो देखिए बॉडी ठीक है हाँ प्रपोर्शन भी ठीक है बॉडी आपकी सही है यस प्रियंसी इट्स बेटर नाउ यस भूमिका ईरा इट्स लुकिंग गुड ईरा इट्स गुड भूमिका शो मी यस भूमिका इट्स लुकिंग फाइन वंदिता ये पार्ट बिल्कुल प्रॉपर नहीं आया है जो कर्व चाहिए ना हमको सेमी सर्क्यूलर इट्स नॉट इवन इट्स वेरी अन नॉन यूनिफॉर्म वेदांत शो मी नाउ अदर्स माइक ऑन म्यूट यू कैन कीप इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द स्क्रीन आई विल कम टू यू वेदांश आपको सर्कल ठीक करना है ये वाला सर्कल ये लेग के पास आएगा ठीक है और इसके साइड में कर्व होगा फेस इज फाइन वेदांश ओके विभूति आई एम चेकिंग योर्स सो विभूति इफ यू ऑब्जर्व व्हाट हैज हैपेंड इज इट्स लुकिंग लाइक योर डियर का जो बम है वो ऊपर चला गया है सो दैट बम यू नीड टू फ्लैटन स्लाइटली बाकी ठीक है Yes, yes, it's fine, absolutely. Ha, huh, Arna, I'm checking yours. Arna, it's looking good now. Yeah. Bhuvika, you want to show me? No. Uh, okay, Devansh. Okay, Devansh, see, आप क्या करो 
यहां पहले एक स्ट्रेट लाइन ड्रॉ करो उसके ऊपर कर्व ड्रॉ करो बिकॉज आपका कर्व ना बिल्कुल ऐसा हो गया है टेढ़ा तो आप एक स्ट्रेट लाइन हाँ आप एक गाइडेंस के लिए एक स्ट्रेट लाइन ड्रॉ कर लो उसके ऊपर कर्व ड्रॉ करो कर्व थोड़ा बड़ा करो या विभूति इट्स गुड नाउ दैट्स फाइन नो इट्स ओके इट्स ओके डोंट वरी दलीशा बेटा आई एम चेकिंग योर्स सो आई एम रेजिंग दिस लाइन इट वॉज ओनली फॉर देवंश दलीशा इट्स फाइन डोंट एक्सटेंड दिस लाइन टू मच ऑन द डाउन दलीशा इरेज दैट लिटल विट या हू एल्स वॉन्टेड टू शो मी अच्छा नेवर माइंड वी विल डू द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द बैकग्राउंड इन दैट वे दैन वेदांश आई एम चेकिंग योर्स वेदांश ये आपने इस लेग के नीचे कौन सी लाइन ड्रॉ कर दी है ये लेग दिस लाइन इज द वन दैट वी यूज द सेमी सर्कल लाइन नथिंग इज देयर बिलो दैट दैट्स वाई एम नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिजाइन एनी बडी एल्स इज स्ट्रगलिंग एनी डाउट एवरी वन इज गेटिंग द शेप डोंट मेक द फेस स्मॉल इफ यू मेक द फेस वेरी टाइनी यू नॉट गेट द बॉडी करेक्ट ईरा कैन आई चेक यूर ड्रॉइंग अगेन ईरा आई थिंक यू नीड टू मेक दिस वाला कर्व बिगर ओके यू कैन सी द साइज फॉर माई बिगर कर्व विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द आउटर कर्व साइज दलीशा शो मी नाउ ओके यस दलीशा इट्स बेटर दलीशा एक बार फिर से दिखाओ हा दलीशा सी लुक एट माई ड्रॉइंग नाउ दिस लाइन वेन इट इज कमिंग इट्स स्लाइटली हायर एंड देन इट्स टचिंग द नोज इट्स नॉट टचिंग दिस पार्ट ऑफ द लेग यस सी दैट स्लाइट चेंज कैन चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ योर एनिमल Yeah. Anybody else wants to show me? Hmm. The count book straight. Rakho. Ah, uh, see, even if it's not like that, but it's looking proportionate. Yeah. So that's fine. That is the whole idea that the drawing should look proportionate. Ira, you can make this even bigger, my dear. Even bigger. See, this is the leg which is uh, inclined over this side, so the curve will show that it's the leg. The leg is quite big. So you in decrease the semicircle. Now I also did that. My semicircle was until here when I started, but then to balance it out, I decrease the semicircle. You can do that too. Hmm. Dalisha, yes, it's good now. Yes, Dalisha. Small, small things matters. That's why I have to keep on checking. Mm, okay, Devansh, see, now your circle is correct. It's on straight line, but it's very small. So, Devansh, you see, this is my semi-circle. As per that, my circle, this inner curve is so big, na. So either you decrease the size of the semicircle or you increase the curve to make the design look balanced. That was just for reference to explain something. Hmm. Okay, shall we proceed, children? So this is the main subject uh, in which we will learn how to do watercolor painting, and then we will draw few flowers and leaves on the side. The main flowers, let us draw together. So I will uh, teach you a trick here to draw the flower. First of all, we will draw a big flower over here. you draw a circle for guidance inside which we will draw the flower draw a guiding circle 
then the center we will just make imaginary and here is the first petal then the second petal don't join it let it be separate that's fine it's okay if your petal shapes are slightly different than mine but the arrangement try to make it in this way the center just leave it blank don't do anything and then slowly erase the outer circle once you get a hang of it you can draw the flower without the outer circle as well this flower yes <coughs> I will show you the same flower but in another easier way. All of you pay attention who wants to learn to draw this flower. Okay. I will show you in a bigger space. So I have a circle which is uh, for guidance. First of all I am drawing the upper petal. So start the upper petal right from the center. Make the shape not too pointed and very simple. Then the side petal will be leaning on the previous one same way on the other side also it will be leaning over like this as you go down keep on leaning the petal don't make it too pointed don't join it to the center and you will get something like this it's actually quite easy this one no draw the same flower but over the side and don't draw it like here this was only to explain so i i am not very rigid about you to draw the same flower but if you will draw you will learn a new one otherwise you will draw the one that you always draw so nothing new in that this is a full flower I will also teach you the same flower to draw half. Sure. Okay, this may make my drawing dirty. I will show on another paper. Okay. So all of you who wants to see. this is the circle okay start from the upper part suppose it's a clock so start from 12 o'clock wala side and make a petal in this way come to the center okay it should not be too pointed then the next petal will be leaning on the first petal the other yes yeah then this one is again leaning then another leaning one just follow the circle change the shapes slightly wavy and keep on lean the petals one on the other only one petal the 12 o'clock one is that you are making complete one vibhuti it's fine it's correct uh devansh it's fine but devansh why you draw so small the flower size devansh it, it should be very big don't draw too small things okay you try again with me priyanshi it's fine vedansh you want to say something your mic is on unmute Uh, who was saying that dalisha dalisha i'm sure you can do that it's very simple you try again with me now you want me to show you again first of all just make a 12 o'clock petal the shape can be different than mine don't worry about it 
After making 12 o'clock petal, lean two petals on the sides. The simplest way is that I, I allow you to draw any other flower that you already know, right? I can do that. But then you will not learn the other one. So let's try. Let's take up the challenge. I will after this one. Yes, Akshita, they are correct. Ira, it's correct. In fact, Akshita and Ira, both of you have drawn it like very symmetry. Uh, like too much symmetry are, is there in between the petals, which can, which is not a necessity. Okay, just to tell you, because flowers can be irregularly shaped also. So don't worry about the precision is what I mean. Dalisha, good job, good job. It's very nice. Arna, the flowers are correct, absolutely. Erase the circle, outer circle. Ha, Harman, dikhaiye. Harman, good job. Flower is very nice. Erase this big flower. We, 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 that was only for our practice. This one. Ha, yaha pe draw karna instead aapko. Okay, keep your books in front of the screen. Who else wanted to show me? Everyone done with the flower? Anybody wants to show it to me? Definitely, it's totally fine. Flowers, their petals, everything can be very irregular because that's the natural beauty. Show me if you are done, Bhuvika. All right, Bhuvika, it's pretty. Okay, now as I was saying, I will show you how to draw the same flower but half. Why half? Like uh, the other side of the flower is touching the ground. So it's kind of little bit folded. Okay. Watch my screen everyone. So again, instead of drawing circle for the base, I am drawing a oval kind of shape here. Or maybe circle and then like a flattened side of the circle. Then I will draw a full petal on the first one, a leaning one, another leaning one, okay. Then on this side the petals got slightly folded. So the size of the petal decreased and also the petals are only on this side. I mean only on this curve, inside this curve. So it will not be a round flower. It's like this. It won't be completely round. It will be oval in shape. And rest will be the same. While we will do the painting, we will show that the upper, four pet upper petals are slightly folded. Just draw the base, not too rounded, but oval in shape. Okay, see, so <coughs> you have to follow the same process, the one for the circle one, okay. Instead of drawing circle as the base, draw oval as the base and fit the petals inside the oval so that the position will look like it is slightly uh, pressed. Yes, see. This side is round and this side is not so round. Okay, then what will happen? This petal is complete, this petal is complete, this petal is complete. This petal I will just fit inside like this. This is called a half flower. Again, the center is here. You don't have to draw that. 
so this is the that technique to do that although i have drawn it in opposite way i have drawn the one which is looking downwards this is facing upwards you can draw this one also facing upwards if you want or you can make totally ulta of it and make it face downwards tail a uh, tail of deer nobody has drawn that i have not taught that so how will you know we are not drawing the tail we are going to draw lots of bushes all around so the tail will be hidden inside yes okay so this flower you can as i said you can draw it facing upside also and let's draw more flowers children then i will check everyone's let's draw one more flower over here facing upwards again so for facing upward flower same way draw a u shape first this uh, flower this one you can draw there oh let me check okay i think it's fine now then we will also draw a similar bud yeah that's perfect it's correct okay your your flower may be slightly different than mine don't worry but yes we want to learn to draw it so let's draw it then the this one to do two flowers are complete one is half another one is half then we will also draw one more over here which will be like bud to draw that just draw a u shape and then draw this much it will be like a bud later we are going to join all of them hmm Yes Vedansh your flower is very nice yes all of them are good okay then uh, just another type of flower we will draw or we will do that directly with paint oh, let me think yeah so lavender so we will draw directly with paint i will tell you a technique yes ha harman flowers stick ban rahe hain aapke aap circle erase karte jaiyega ab let's yeah let's draw some leaves to make our drawing look complete and we are going to add more flowers directly with watercolor painting that i will show you how so let two three leaves go inside the body over there it's okay if your arrangement is little different than mine don't worry just make sure you do a very dense arrangement ha huh, harvan hmm hmm तो आज आप वाटर कलर्स यूज करिएगा जब मैं आपको बताऊंगी ठीक है बिल्कुल नो प्रॉब्लम सो आई वॉज सेइंग फ्लावर्स एंड द लीव्स पार्ट जस्ट मेक इट वेरी डेंस योर अरेंजमेंट कैन बी डिफरेंट देन माइंड डोंट वरी अबाउट इट बट मेक इट डेंस देन वंस वील टू कलरिंग द कलरफुल फ्लावर्स in between the deer it's everything the composition will look amazing so don't make just few of them and 
stop being lazy draw lots of them it will also give you good practice of painting lots of flowers and leaves Mm -hmm. On Procreate. Okay. Okay, so. Like. Oh, can you tell me what is it about? Okay, if you if you find the need to do that, you can do that. Yeah. So this is the design. This is the drawing. Uh, all of you complete it until here and show it to me. Yes, one minute. Uh, Priyansi, let me see. Priyansi, while drawing the uh, these parts, I think you have mixed them a lot. So just make them slightly neat and the leaves shape on the right hand side, you can make it better. The leaves on the left hand side are perfect. The one on the right hand side is not so much in shape. Okay? Rest is good. Ha Harman, dikhaiye. हरमन आप सारे फ्लावर दिखाइए रुके मुझे देखना है सारे फ्लावर के सर्कल्स इरेज करना और ये वाला जो बर्ड है हरमन इसका शेप बेटर करो वो बर्ड पता है ये वाला जो बर्ड है ना ये जो कली हमने बनाई है इसका शेप बेटर करो वो ऐसे लग रहा है जैसे वो ब्रोकन क्रैक वाला एग होता है ना जिसका पार्ट हम बनाते हैं कई बार सो वो उसके तरह लग रहा है तो आप उसका शेप थोड़ा ठीक करिए बाकी का ठीक है So now uh, you can see how much space you have on the sides. If it is like too much, you can make margins. If it is um, imbalanced, you can add more flowers and leaves on your side of the paper. It's totally up to you how much you want to extend the drawing. <coughs> So I am taking a small break, I am going to drink water and get my paints. All of you can also do that once you complete your drawing. Nobody will outline the drawing, okay? Thank you. 
yeah now everyone keep your drawings in front of the screen uh vandita i'm checking one minute everyone yes vandita it's nice very good drawing yeah uh yes i'm coming to all of you yes ira go ahead yes you can i will come please wait arna i'm checking yours uh arna this uh, grasses look show me again arna uh okay so yes arna it's looking fine we will do major corrections while we do painting hmm वेदांश लेट मी सी यस वेदांश इट्स गुड वेरी गुड अक्षता यस अक्षता इट्स लुकिंग वेरी नाइस हरमन ओके माय इंटरनेट i lost i think wait i uh, yeah i just lost my connection harman now i'm checking yours again please wait i'm checking everybody's harman aap fir se dikhai ha harman theek lag raha hai aapka drawing acha lag raha hai yeah the lisha i'm checking yours um Dalisha, the face is very small, looking as compared to the body. So I will tell you what you can do now. ये वाला जो पार्ट है ना दलीशा ऊपर वाला ये आप इरेज करो सिर्फ और उसको थोड़ा बड़ा बना दो राइट नो वट इट इज लुकिंग इज द बॉडी इज वेरी बिग एंड द फेस इज वेरी स्मॉल सो ऊपर से फेस को इरेज करके थोड़ा बड़ा कर दो फिर ठीक लगेगा भूविका एंड चेकिंग योर्स येस भूविका इट्स लुकिंग गुड वेरी नाइस Uh, now who wanted to show me else devansh yes devansh devansh the eye is not uh, too high the eye bring little down okay yeah the body is good now <coughs> sorry okay um, vibhuti i think i haven't checked yours ओके ओके दलीशा शो मी अगेन आई डिड इन चेक ओके दलीशा यस इट्स फाइन नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट दलीशा एडजस्ट द आई पोजिशन ऑल्सो ओके सो एवरी वन प्लीज बी रेडी विथ योर पेंट्स ब्रशेस वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फन विथ पेंटिंग नाउ या हाँ सो आई एक्चुअली पॉइंटेड आउट एंड देन आई थॉट आई विल टेल यू दैट अलॉन्ग विद द पेंटिंग बट इट्स ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू नाउ सी इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग टू स्ट्रेट आई जस्ट वेंट लाइक आफ्टर गोइंग अप आई वेंट ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड आई आफ्टर गोइंग अप आई वेंट ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड सो दैट्स हाउ द कर्व गोज इट्स नॉट टू स्ट्रेट बट इट्स नॉट लाइक वन मिनट it's not too straight but it's not like too steep also yeah it's like straight and then on the right yes <laughs> uh i can see that uh, you try one more time arna i will check again okay i think it will come out good vibhuti i'm checking your drawing now yes vibhuti it's looking good सो क्या हो गया ना वो फ्लावर इतना वर्टिकल हो गया है जैसे थोड़ा स्लैंट होता तो और बेटर लगता अगर आप अभी उसको करेक्ट करना चाहते हो तो कर सकते हो वो वर्टिकल फ्लावर लग रहा है तो वर्टिकली मोस्टली हम प्लेस नहीं करते हैं फ्लावर को डायगनली कर सकते हैं यस यस प्रियंसी गो एड
yes of course you have to that was only for guiding okay shall we start painting now i hope everyone is ready just use your who's that perfect very nice may i know who just joined by the name prem kumari okay okay it's devansh vedansh yeah arna yes arna the right hand side the left hand side ones are fine the right hand side ones uh, what you can do to make it look even more natural you can decrease the length and you can make one longer one shorter one longer instead of just going them very straight see this is short long long so that makes it look more natural if you are looking for that kind of look all of you take your eraser and lighten your drawings as much as you can okay it should be yes it's fine now all of you take your eraser and lighten your drawing so that we will not be able to see the very dark pencil lines from the paints just lighten it see for other drawings i ask you to do outlining then we do painting and all but for watercolor since they are so transparent i always ask you to first erase the even pencil line before we start painting all right so we are going to paint the uh, this like not erase but lighten so that you of course you should be able to see it but just lighten it okay <coughs> now i want you all to look at my screen until i tell you that now you can start painting go so we will require brown color in brown you can use burnt amber if you have that's like the correct color the lighter brown not very dark brown use that use that no problem use the lighter brown color brown color light brown the amber burnt amber color bon siana everyone just use any lighter brown and add lot of water to it yes yes but add lot of water to it you to are na add lot of water to it if you don't yes look at my look at my plate it's full of water we are doing watercolor painting we are learning watercolor painting आपको पहले पेंट को पहले थोड़ा सा निकालना है एक प्लेट में उसमें फिर बहुत सारा वाटर ऐड करना है यस प्लीज 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 यस नो प्रॉब्लम i am speaking i am speaking dear are you able to acha dekho the screen that from which i show my drawing is on mute that one you have to you have to find that by going in the list of the participants okay yeah so all of you i have taken some brown paint then i have added little bit of yellow to it to make it a brighter brown color that i can use to paint deer i have added burnt amber take brown color and then add yellow to it any yellow you add is fine any yellow is fine yes but then add more water that is a darker shade अभी मैंने वही बताया कि मैंने ब्राउन लिया था उसमें मैंने येलो मिक्स किया तो ये येलोइश ब्राउन कलर बना है आप सबको ये कलर बनाना है लिसन केयरफुली एवरी स्टेप चिल्ड्रन इट्स येलोइश ब्राउन दैट आई हैव यूज्ड एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू पेंट दिस कलर इन द बॉडी 
ओके यूज़ अ थिक ब्रश यूज़ वेरी वॉटरी पेंट एंड देन गो अराउंड टू पेंट द बॉडी डोंट पेंट इन द ईयर्स and don't do overdo the strokes just little bit of swiping of brush will do the trick for the face also do not cover the whole face you can look at my drawing first so you automatically since you are using such watery paint you will get the effect the neck part you can leave white lot of white and also the leg which is on down side leave lot of white over there and for the face also do this color only on the upper side and leave rest of it to be white use very watery paint i'm telling again and again we are learning to use we are learning to use water color and that all the tricks will involve using water colors yeah it's fine but add lot of water to it it should be very watery or paint should be then you will get the effect okay i will zoom it see you don't have to do in the horns you don't have to do at the bottom side of the face and on the little part of the leg rest you have to cover it all just do not do over swiping of brush and continue to paint by dabbing here yeah, yeah. yes uh, devansh just go on with painting you your color is fine add more water to it make it watery if your colors are darker as compared to mine add white to it or add yellow to it and add water but don't make it too dark a bright yellow will make your deer look like golden in color which will look very pretty if you look at the face part the upper part i have done very improperly there is no shape because it's like spots on animals na it's not very uniform and do not uh, swipe your brush too many times don't overdo it just dab your brushes and it will be good Yes, he writes good. Yes. the left leg i have done the right leg i have not filled completely i have left some part vedansh it's good so vedansh face pe abhi jaise aapne ek line kiya na brush se uski jagah aise thoda sa dab karke karoge to wo jo irregular shape hai wo aa jayega priyansi which color you have used to paint your dear so you should check then you should ask me instead of doing the wrong color you should ask me teacher what should i do if my color is not coming out proper it's looking like orange right now that's not the correct color 
and also I can see two shades. What happened, Alicia? My drawing is right there. Maybe you can check your connection. Uh, Akshita, let me see. Um, yes, Akshita, it's fine. Okay, no worries. Vibhuti, it's good. Right leg. I have just done little bit uh, color on the upper side. The rest of the part I have left white. It's okay if you uh, happen to do it more also. We are going to do lots of shadings. This is just the first layer. Yes, uh, Devansh, it's fine. Yes. <coughs> it's okay. Then you can later do white over there. Yeah, we'll use white. Hmm. So now comes the darker color in picture. Your burnt uh, umber color, or oh, sorry, burnt sienna, and use less water. Take dark color and a thin brush. Take a darker brown and a thin brush. Arna, yes, just one sienna. One minute, Harman. Ar uh, Arna, your brush strokes are looking a bit too much, like cluster, Arna. I think you can improvise the brush strokes. You take a big brush, Arna, dip it in water and try to smoothen it a little bit. It's looking like too much furry, as if we are making a sheep. Yeah, so you can smoothen it more. Yes, Vandita. Yes, it's okay. Yes, Harman. Okay, good, Harman. Okay. Uh, no, add little bit of water to make it comfortable for your brush to slide. And then you have to use this dark color to separate the body parts so it should be like outline use a thin brush and then yes this is brown color slightly darker one yes less water but even not too thick so now I'm doing this to separate this part of the body and then I'm doing little bit over here because since the body is curled up this part will be under the shadow so to show that shadow, I am using darker brown, but please add water when you are drawing shadow. Don't use very thick paint. Over here also, I am doing bit of shadowing using my darker color and making this line a little bit. Um, no, you can do bit more, my dear. Because the texture is too much over there. If you see my painting, I have not added texture like that in this painting. That's a good good texture, but not for this one. So you, you have done too much of dabbing of your brush while painting. That's why it happened, which was not required for this one. Yeah, but you can do it uh, easily by using a plain water brush and changing the stroke. It will be fine. Feels like what? Vandita, please mute your mic. I can't hear other person's thing. Vandita, please mute your mic. Otherwise, I can't. Uh, hear what others are speaking. Yes, tell me. Okay, it feels smooth and plain to you, like you can see over. Okay, then maybe. Yeah, carry on. So I, you all can see now. Just observe uh, with me. I am using darker color to show shadows here and there. 
uh, inside the leg little bit here then separating the body in that way and then I will do this dark color little bit on the uh, right hand side ear center part also same burnt sienna just add it some at some places where you want to show shadow and where you want to give the line separation so instead of using a marker for such drawings we use different colors only to show where the shapes are going and then after this dark color we are going to use gray color you all can make gray color by simply mixing very tiny bit of black to white color very tiny bit okay black to white not uh, white to black it will not give you gray color it will give you black yeah use that it should not be too dark okay dear okay I will wait Harman your video is not showing dear you can check my screen now I am showing gray color see here जो मैंने यहाँ पे किया है ये ग्रे कलर है आपको भी यही ग्रे कलर करना है डोंट यूज द ग्रे कलर टू डार्क Okay, I will wait. Yes, it's quite dark. <coughs> yes, that's right. Add, those who are mixing the color, don't add black lot. Just tiny bit of black is enough. We have to do more of grey but since uh, you all are still catching up, I am waiting. Yes, uh, Devansh, it's looking fine, Devansh. Okay, no problem. Yes, Devan should fine. Hmm. Akshita, let me see. Akshita, bring it closer. Yeah. Yes, Akshita, it's fine. The dark brown color which we've used for outline, na, that can be will not be that sharp. Uh, yes, Harman, I can hear you. Harman, you can tell me. After that, wait one minute. I will come to you. One minute, Ira. Yes, Harman, you are fine. Yes, Ira, it's good. Vedansh, let me see. Okay, Vedansh, it's fine. Now we are going to do more grey. Just wait. Yes, Priyansi, it's fine. Okay, so I will continue to do the gray part. Now again, don't use watery paint. I mean, don't use thick paint. Use very watery paint and do with me. First of all, the watery paint you need to... Mics on mute, please. Harman. 
okay mic on mute so this watery gray color we will complete to fill over this part of the face that we have left as white around the eyes you will leave some part white don't paint anything over there and rest of the part that we have left we will fill up the with this very very watery white you see the effect you will get when you paint with this watery white and it's important to leave the parts white that i tell you that's what gives you the effect very watery gray here also i am going to leave some part white of the body of course we are going to use white paint also to make patches on deer's body but then leaving the parts white is also a very important thing in watercolor painting and then i also i'm filling up this part of the leg with this gray color little bit but again leaving more part white over there and then doing some gray over here on the bottom of the other leg so this part of the ear i have done dark gray rest of the part i will do light gray it's not that deer cannot be painted any other way but here we are learning uh, tricks that can be used to you with watercolors to give effects leave some part white in the ears as well and you will get this some gray around here where we wanted to show the depth the shadow so just do it uh, in like swipe swirling manner and do all of this with slightly thin brush not too thick taking black color and doing little bit in the nose triangle only little bit don't make it like too bold black and also the eye so while you are doing the eye when you fill inside don't fill the eyeball completely black you dab your brush and then you dab it in a way that you leave one two white spots while filling it one two white spots very important around uh, leaving in the eyeball use your uh, thin yes harman we are continuing use your thin brush and you have to do the outline of the face but not complete outline you have to do broken outline you can leave some parts in between without mic on mute do broken outline not very obvious and with not very very thick paint let your paint be slightly watery only of course not too watery but ha huh. so that it gives you a very smooth finishing and not too sharp that's how we do in watercolor work so and do broken outline using this diluted black paint yes please wait i lost my network i think it's connecting again <coughs>
ओके आई लॉस्ट माई कनेक्शन एंड आई हैव गॉट इट बैक सो ना या सो आई लॉस्ट माई कनेक्शन बट नाउ इट्स बैक सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू कैन सी माई स्क्रीन एंड आई यू कैन हियर मी सो माइक ऑन म्यूट प्लीज आई वॉज सेंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस ब्लैक पेंट विच इज नॉट टू थिंक हुज माइक इज ऑन थैंक यू वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस ब्लैक पेंट विच इज नॉट टू वॉटरी नॉट टू थिक बट नॉट टू वॉटरी बट क्वाइट डायल्यूटेड एंड टू द आउटलाइन ऑफ द फेस ऑफ द डियर विच इज क्वाइट broken okay it's not very specifically done it's not very sharp you have to do it in in broken line so that it looks very natural to give the definition to your drawing then for this leg also you have to continue to do it the same way that i'm telling you you can already see how natural effect we get when we do in this process continue to draw outline for this body upper part also very thin brush and very light hand not at all very sharp outline and thin brush okay uh yeah the body must have been dried so actually it's good that if it is not too dry you will not get very sharp lines since it will get bit merged so it's okay if you do also yeah not a problem yeah so this much black you have to do where oh my god so you try try to soak it up with cloth or tissue did you try that oh then try again keep on doing since it's watercolor it's easy to do that see i am loving it do you see the effect we are getting with gray and the golden shade it's really coming out to be looking so natural with watercolor paints and do, did you realize the drawing was so simple just a semi circle and our deer was almost there akshita let me see mm -hmm. wait ha huh, akshita okay yeah it's good it's all fine yes sharp ha huh? but theek hai no problem it's okay yeah we are going to do the spots and all also in the next class until here only today we are going to do in the class rest everything we will do in the next class